Hey guys, how are you today? So today I found this question on forum of Unreal Engine. This guy asking about shape uh, location update. He also put a video and he's showing that when he's changing the value, the radius of sphere is changed, but when he used the curve, it's not working. And he's using curve, he's just missing a very small thing. I can comment here, but I want to make a video so all other guys can watch on my YouTube channel these things so let's make a quick video for him so basically if you take a niagara and you take a fountain effects so basically this niagara emitter uh, it is not visible i'll just take the fountain again okay so on my youtube channel if you don't follow uh i have lots of videos effects where i'm using like this in the ground slash i am using and i'm animating my shape and lots of other so you can watch that so this niagara emitter is actually divided into some parts so there's a emitter level there's a spawn level there's a update level and there's a render so when you use a curve it works in update if you are using normalized age particle age whatever but if you want to do animate anything here in this stack in the particle spawn where it just spawn the particle so on the first frame it thinks it 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 makes these things like work for just initial time so what will be the size what will be the color what will be the velocity what will be the sphere size or any location size at the first frame of the particle then it will update through the life here so if you want to update anything here you just have to do one small thing so let's say you have this thing uh, and you want to let's delete this and you have just this falling particle and you have a radius of a sphere you can increase or decrease so like you use this curve here and you want to use curve although you can use a use a user parameter then animate outside the niagara but if you want to use a curve here yes use curve and it will not work okay so you have to just change this thing and that will work so let's say you have initially you have z at zero you have zero radius and after one second you want like 100 radius it's not working but if you change this thing and take the age you can take all these three from the emitter level so there is normalize there's loop there's age so if you just take age it will just work on seconds so like at the very uh, zero timing it will be zero then it will increase see so see initially it is small then it is increasing so anything you want to change you want to like change the position you want to do anything you can do that so i'll also I, i'll also show you one example so let's say you have a torus and particle spawning from the torus and let's make this radius zero okay and let's make the gravity less so now you can see this much okay so in the torus if you use the direct see there's an emitter edge connected that's why this value is animating you can also use curve and then use here edge you can use normalize it but it will work the same and this thing is also like uh, uh, if you want to use something you have like uh, i should not have deleted if you have a box and you want just a planar and you have these things and let's say you don't have gravity or you have so in the shape you have this zero and we have just a line you can make it even bigger and you want to animate that line from this position to this position that means if you go here in the offset this is the y-axis you can move it so if you want to animate it first i'll break it and then i will put a curve here and again i'll take the edge so initially i want it on zero then i want to move it 200 units 
see so anything you want to animate here you just use this thing and that's it and also like this line is let me increase the particle even more so it will be visual properly let's say this line is very wide and you want this line smaller initially then it increases the the this wideness so this axis for in red so i'll just break this and i will also put a curve on x and i will make this like this 0 to 400 and i'll put here edge so see what happened cool so you can make this type of cool effect with this you can just turn off the velocity with this gravity if you want and if you want initially particles should be small or big you can also do that so anything you can do in this stack in the spawn by using the emitter level edges normalize loop for anything you want so this is a quick tutorial i hope this will be helpful for you you understand how it works thanks for watching keep learning bye bye